My name is David Rodwin and this is The Life. So I just took my last barefoot run on the beach in Venice and it was amazing. My dolphins came out to say goodbye. There's a pod of dolphins that go up and down the coast between Venice and Santa Monica, even all the way up to Malibu. And I see these guys on a semi-regular basis. Occasionally I'll go for sometimes a few months without seeing them and it'll actually make me really sad. But this time, the moment I got out there, boom, I saw them. I didn't have to wait. They were right there. They almost always go north toward the Santa Monica Peak but this time they were heading south toward the Venice Pier so I just started running with them and there's this thing I always want to run out and dash into the water and swim out to the dolphins and pet them but whenever I've tried this in the past maybe three or four times they're always gone by the time I get there this time I'm running along the beach and I see them and there are a lot of surfers out there because it's Saturday morning and I want to get to a place where there aren't that many surfers so I get to a place right where they're almost past the surfers but then there's this big breakwater so I pass that and then I spot them and then there's a clearing there are no surfers we're about a quarter mile from the Venice Pier when I decide to run to a lifeguard station I tuck my keys underneath there and I went out there today wearing nothing but my shorts not a shirt not shoes not nothing just these so I dash into the water and as I'm going out I once again realize that it is much much further than it looked it's probably at least 200 yards and I haven't swum in a long time and the surf is pretty rough and for once in a long 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 while I actually wasn't terrified of the fish see I'm an ichthyophobe and that means when I dash into the water I'm always afraid a fish is gonna come up and nibble my toes or a shark is gonna eat me and it scares the crap out of me. But this time I was so intent on touching the dolphins because it's my last day living in Venice and I felt like there are so many things that I haven't done here. You know, I haven't gotten to know the name of my male woman and I never said hello to the drug dealers who are in my back alley who live in a car just right there on Speedway and one of them actually sleeps in a dumpster as far as I can tell and they're there day and night and I've never once introduced myself and said, hey, I'm your neighbor who lives about 100 feet from where you sell drugs and sleep in your car. And there's so many other things I haven't done in Venice. Last night I tried to go to James Beach, this fun, hot bar where people crowd in there and the women are beautiful and the guys are aggressive and I pushed my way in through this crowded mess of flesh and limbs and I had no idea what to do. I was completely by myself and I looked around for someone to talk to and men were huddling together, girls were huddling together and every now and then they collided and I pushed my way through that crowd and there are women and there are women and there are women but I can't even figure out how to say hello. By the time I got got to the far end of the room, I looked around and I thought, I could get a drink, but I think I'm just going to leave. So I push my way out again and it's like I'm swimming through people and once I'm on the street, I can breathe and then I walk down to the beach since it's just a hundred yards away and there I can actually think straight again. And it's just me and the ocean and the waves and I far prefer that to any bar. So I decided I would go to bed early and I would wake up early. So I'm out there for a run this morning, full of energy now that I'm 90% packed for my move tomorrow morning. And I am there ready to touch the dolphins. The problem is once you get into the water, it's hard to get that height necessary to see where they are. And every time I go up a wave, I'm looking down and, and, and I can't see them anymore. And I'm thinking, are they just submerged? Did they go out to sea? Did they know I was coming and I wanted to pet them so they ran away? And I finally decide I'm out too far. I can't see them. This isn't going to work. So I go back in. And when I'm back in, I pick up my keys from the lifeguard station and I'm just so depressed. I'm thinking, man, you know, I've been here for almost two and a half years. I've tried swimming out to the dolphins maybe four times and I never get near and suddenly it became this whole metaphor for my life and career and I think about what I'm trying to attain in my career and it feels like something as awesome and as unattainable as swimming out to the dolphins and riding a dolphin. And I think about my pathetic attempts to get out there 
and I just start feeling so down on myself that I'm not really living life as fully as I can because of all of my fears. And even though I did go out there and I wasn't afraid of fish for a moment, when I saw the distance, when I saw the amount of work it was going to take to get out there, and I thought, well, there's almost no chance that I'm going to make it, I just gave up. But as I was thinking this, I look back out to the ocean and I see the dolphins. They've turned around. You know, I usually run up to Santa Monica Pier and then I turn around and I come back and they had gotten almost to Venice Pier and they decided to do the exact same thing. So they changed directions on me. And I'm thinking, wow, they weren't actually there where I thought they were going to be. Now they've turned around. I have to turn around as well. And this time I'm going to catch them. So I start running and I get past the breakwater and I start dashing ahead and I hide my keys underneath another lifeguard station and I dash even further ahead and I spotted them now and I can see what their trajectory is. And we're in a clear patch once again before the surfers, but just before the surfers. So I decide this is is it and I run into the water as quickly as I can doing that high step runny thing and then I dive in and I start swimming and the waves are hitting me and I'm swimming and I can see them I can actually see them this time they're getting closer and closer and it looks like our trajectory might actually match up but they are faster than I am, so much faster. And I start getting closer and closer than I've ever been before, maybe 30 yards away. And they're slowing down, maybe I think for me, and they're popping up and I can see them well, they're not submerging themselves at all. And I'm thinking this time, this time, maybe I'll actually get to them. And as I start getting close, they pull ahead. And there's another guy, a swimmer, 10 yards from me. And I look over to him and I say, so close. And he looks at me and says, yeah, I was further out before and I didn't even know they were here. The only reason I discovered them was because I heard the from their blowhole. I turned around and they swam right past me. And I actually saw him when he was out there and I was thinking, wow, if only I could go out that far. And then I looked down and I saw the reason he was able to swim out that far so easily was that he had flippers on. So he actually had the speed to catch them. And I said, have you ever tried? And he said, no. You know, the thing is that when they're out there, they're swimming around like that. They're going after food. And the thing is, what you don't know is who's going after them. So even though I'd really love to say hello to those dolphins, I keep my distance. And I thought, wow, you know, I've had this pie in the sky idea of what it would be like to touch these dolphins. And I have been afraid of sharks. I mean, they catch sharks off the Venice Pier on a regular basis. Not big ones, but enough to scare the crap out of me. And I think perhaps if they want to say hello to me one of these days, maybe if I go with a friend out on a paddleboard or something like that, then I can give them a little pet. But until then, I should probably save it for my friends and neighbors' cats. And now I'm off to my first rehearsal for a show in almost eight years. I'm playing Oberon in the Midsummer Night's Dream, and it's going to be awesome. Details in the doobly-doo. My name is David Rodwin, and this is The Life. Another thing I've never done my entire time in Venice was have a chicken stick at Monkey Express, 300 feet from my apartment building. Well, here it is, one big bad chicken stick. There's pink. Just about as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was convinced this one box, this one small box, had somehow fallen out. Even though I had trailed both pickup trucks almost the entire way to the new house, just before the final turn, I pulled in front of them so they would be able to follow me the rest of the way. 